New tonight, we are getting reaction after the Vallejo Police Department announced they have fired former officer Ryan McMahon for engaging in unsafe conduct and neglect for basic gun safety. Well, number one, it was about time. It should have happened a while ago. It was disappointing, though, because he was not really fired for the major uh, events that he was involved in. Famed civil rights attorney John Burris just settled a close to $6 million lawsuit with the city after Officer McMahon shot and killed Ronell Foster during a traffic stop back in 2018. There was two police shootings that he was involved in, and he should have been terminated for either one or both of them, but he was not. That's right, we know the officer was indeed involved in the deaths of two black men. Last year, Willie McCoy was asleep in his car with a gun in his lap. It happened at a Taco Bell drive through when McMahon and five other officers fired 55 rounds at him. Again, the Vallejo Police Department will only say he was fired for engaging in unsafe conduct and neglect for basic gun safety. True, what he was terminated for by putting other officers in danger, but that's not the real point to me. He put the life of Willie McCoy in danger, and he also uh, shot and killed uh, Ron L. Foster, which he created. So, uh, hollow victory at best. The Vallejo Police Department chief released this statement saying any conduct outside the level of professionalism this city deserves will not be tolerated by the Vallejo Police Department. I understand we have a long way to go in rebuilding trust among the residents of Vallejo, and I will continue to take the necessary steps to better serve this community. Did George Floyd present a moment or a movement? And whether it's a movement or not, his proof is in the pudding and time will tell.